Henrietta Lacks Health and Bioscience High School is a small specialty school in the Evergreen School District. We are located in Vancouver, Washington. Students have five pathways to choose from, biotechnology, biomedical engineering, pharmacy, public health, and nursing and patient care. Hi, my name is Linda Labard, and I'm the biotechnology pathway teacher at Heal High School. And I just wanted to take a minute to give you some information about what biotechnology is and why you might want to think about being part of this pathway. Biotechnology is a field of study that focuses on DNA and genetics. It explores how we can modify or change DNA in order to make human life better. It also teaches us how we can apply those genetic processes to the real world by studying things like cloning and stem cells, how new drugs are developed, or what a genetically modified organism is. Some of the reasons why you might want to be a part of this pathway are because you are interested in the future of medicine and science. Biotechnology really focuses on what is up and coming in both medicine and science. It also helps you to understand current issues and new science discoveries that you may hear about in the news or see on television or in movies. And it also gives you the chance to learn skills and to use equipment that real scientists use. We're very lucky in having a full range of of equipment that lets us actually work with real samples of DNA. Some of the things that you'll do in the biotechnology pathway include advanced labs, so you get lots of experiences that are hands-on. There's opportunities for field trips, and we get to talk about things that are real-world applications of DNA and genetics and biotechnology, like how is it that we can cure dis genetic diseases? How do we develop new biofuels? What is personalized medicine? Or what are some of the newest trends in food science? The picture down in the lower corner is an example of one of the types of experiments students in the biotechnology pathway get to do. And I was going to show you a video of an actual experiment done by my students. So this is showing the movement of actual pieces of DNA. The bright uh, lines or bright bands that you see are pieces of DNA that we, my students are attempting to study and analyze by using a technique called gel electrophoresis. So this is just one of the many things that you would get to experience um, as part of the biotechnology pathway. Thank you and hope to see you soon. Nursing is a two-year program that begins in your junior year. You'll be eligible to sit in for the NAC certification exam as well as become a certified CNA by your senior year. We're also welcoming students that simply want to learn more about the nursing profession but aren't seeking certification. Nursing is a very hands-on class. By the end of your senior year, you'll learn the 22 required skills to become a CNA. These skills include hand washing, feeding, and mouth care. In addition, you'll have the opportunity to apply the skills that you've learned in the classroom setting to a real clinical environment. Nursing will also teach you about the various disorders associated with each body system and the effects of aging. We'll often work in groups to do group projects and presentations about these disorders. This is great practice for when you're working in a care team and need to collaborate with each other. In addition, juniors will be renewing their CPR certification and learning about the infectious disease process. Nursing is so much more than just learning about the human body. You're also learning how to become more empathetic and caring, some key nursing characteristics. In addition, you'll be practicing and being assessed on professionalism. Now, let's hear from some nursing students. Hello, I'm Vanessa. I'm a senior at Gila. 
why I chose nursing is because I want to go into anesthesiology in the future and nursing will be a great step ahead for me along amongst the other university students. My favorite part of nursing, of course, is the hands-on activities, even though it may be very nerve-wracking for first-year nursing students. It's a great opportunity for you to get in there and do the things that you look through, like videos, or you read, but it'll be a more memorable activity. Hi, my name is Natalie, and why I chose the nursing pathway is I loved the idea of working with other people, and I loved the topics that we would cover. Um, I really want to be a CNA once I graduate, so I thought this was a wonderful pathway to do so. Um, some of the things I enjoy here are working with other um, classmates, and I also love working with the mannequins and getting to be in the room where, um, as if it was a hospital. So I really hope you consider joining. Hi, my name is Marin. I chose this pathway because um, since I was a kid, I wanted to be a nurse. Um, I also heard about Hilo when I was in middle school, so I kind of just knew I wanted to go here. Um, I'm super thankful and blessed to be a part of this program. Hello, I'm Cameron Lampane, and this is... I'm Kaisa. We're part of the nursing pathway here at Gila. Um, what I chose to take the nursing pathway is to learn more about the body and how um, residents are treated and how they're cared for. And why I chose nursing is because I will be able to have learned all the skills by the end of this and I will be able to graduate with my CNA if I go take the test. Uh, one of my favorite parts of uh, nursing is being around everyone, all my classmates and our teacher. She's just amazing. My favorite part is being we get to learn all the hands-on skills that nursing assistants need in real life. Henrietta Lacks Health and Bioscience High School, also known as Gila High School, is located in Vancouver, Washington. We have five different programs of study. Pharmacy is one of those programs, and this specific project on sunscreen and the effects on the environment is one example of the type of project students will do here. I'm very fortunate I get to go to Hawaii frequently, and so I had learned about the devastation that the sunscreen had been doing to their coral reefs. For me, pharmacy is not just the products behind the counter, Pharmacy also includes the over-the-counter products. And so it was very easy for me to pull the sunscreen into my pharmacology because we make choices with over-the-counter products all the time. We made a molecule based on what we found in sunscreens. So we did a lot of research to determine that oxybenzone is truly bad for coral reefs and for your skin. And basically what parts and active ingredients in sunscreen are bad for you and others. Then I laid out pretty much my expectations for them as far as their poster project of the molecule, as well as their public information piece. We got to choose which molecule that we were going to do. My group ended up choosing avobenzone, and so we started researching that specific molecule, what sunscreens it's in, how toxic it is for the environment versus for people, what sort of benefits it has, like what it protects against, what kind of sun rays. So we went on PubChem, thanks to Dr. Hauger, and we looked up the structure and then after looking it up, like seeing how many carbons, hydrogens, or oxygens there are. In textbooks, it's usually just 2D, and so you can partially see it, and it'll give you the chemical formula, but it doesn't exactly give you a full understanding. And PubChem allows you to use a 3D model so that you can understand completely and the angles and all of that. Using PubChem and making the molecule, I could physically like put them together myself and see exactly where they go. I think actually making the molecules, because this was our first time actually making them and seeing the actual structures with the benzene rings and understanding double bonds and how they all relate and how these molecules actually look and how they are connected, it, that was really cool for me to see. For the infographic, we just put information about what oxybenzone does, some statistics, and why it's important to actually understand it. Um, some people don't realize the active ingredients in sunscreen are important and oxybenzone is a very specific one because it makes a big impact. It's a lot different when someone's standing there and you're just supposed to sit there and absorb all the information than when you're hands-on doing it by yourself.
Hi, my name is Susie Ridgway and I'm responsible for the Public Health Pathway. I'd like to tell you about the pathway. It's a two-year pathway and the first year is epidemiology. In epidemiology, we talk about all kinds of things. We talk about the distribution of diseases throughout the world. We look at the historical outbreaks and pandemics that have occurred in the past. We also go around the school and look for clean and dirty surfaces at Gila. After the first year of epidemiology, you have a choice of four classes to take. You may take physiology of aging, where we learn about how the body ages. We um, also, this is a good class to take if you're a nursing student. The second choice you have is to take immunology, where we learn about how the human body fights off diseases. We talk about various diseases, including autoimmune diseases, and you will learn about the body's response to these diseases. The third class you have to pick from is advanced physiology. In this class, we look at several systems more in depth, cardiology, respiratory, and also the reproductive system. And the very last class we have is exercise physiology, which is a study of exercise and how the body adapts to the exercise. You don't have to exercise in this class. And these are each one semester classes. You will take two of those and one year of epidemiology, and then you will be eligible to get your public health pathway core. Hope to see you. Hello, welcome. Uh, I am Mr. Gunder. I teach chemistry. I teach our AP Chemistry and AP Physics classes, and I also teach our Biomedical Engineering Program of Study here at Henrietta Lacks, and that's what I am here to talk to you about today. So, I hope you're excited about coming to our school. I'm excited to have everyone here. It's really great to have new students coming into the school. I teach a course called Biomedical Engineering. It's a two-year program of study, and what it covers is kind of a crossover between engineering and medicine. So it's kind of, it's a very hands-on class, and it's a hands-on class that's meant to look at how scientists and engineers start to solve some of the problems in healthcare. So we think about like how, how our medical device is designed and built. We think about um, one of the units that we spend some time on is looking at prosthetics. So building, you know, we did some building of prototype prosthetics at home with supplies during the COVID-19 uh, remote learning obligations. But in person, we also get some practice uh, doing some 3D printing. So I have a suite of 3D printers in the room. Um, over the next year, probably, I'm expecting some more, and I'm expecting this workspace to be developed a little bit, so it's going to evolve over the next year or two. We get to, you know, I like having organization so that I can keep everything, and it's everything nice and organized, and it's organized in its right place, and I have a lot of different, we get to use a lot of different tools and equipment in this class. Um, one of the things that we do is, you know, as we work with our ideas around prosthetics, is some of the emerging technology around prosthetics really utilizes these 3D printing technologies. And so I teach, teach my students how to use the 3D printers, how we can work on the parameters and get things to work and eventually get to the stage of like putting together like complex devices such as this. I am fortunate to be able to teach at our school. I'm fortunate to be able to develop this program and learn with everyone else. And build some of these engineering skills. Like, you know, engineering is something that's, it's really for everybody. It's something that if you like any sort of hands-on work, I know a lot of our students coming in are, are very much interested in doing some hands-on learning. This is a really good class for you. There's a lot of cool stuff that we get to do in this class and I really look forward to seeing you all.